What's up guys and welcome back to Tackling the World. For today's video, we're going to be doing a little behind the scenes of our main channel, Outdoor Chef Life. We're always traveling and going to really amazing places like right now we're in Hawaii. And people always say that we're so lucky that we're not working. <laughs> but in reality, we do actually have to work. Like this morning, we've actually been here at Ryan's place the whole day. It's almost noon and we've just been working on our laptops. Talk has been editing. I've been responding to emails and we're actually going to head over to meet up with some friends that Taco is doing a catch and cook pop-up kind of restaurant and we need to figure out the menu with them. So we're gonna head over to the restaurant. We'll take you guys with us. Very careful, cause I always spill. Okay, I'm going for a cocktail, cause if I have coffee now, I'll never sleep. Cheers. Hey, right now we're doing a little business lunch, discussing what we're gonna be serving for our pop-up coming up uh, in a few days. And uh, yeah, here in Hawaii, so uh, yeah, they've been doing it for a couple times before, so they wanted uh, me to come and be a little guest chef, and we're gonna be doing going fishing and catching, and so we're gonna just discuss menu. So I'm thinking like for the sushi course, I'll do, I'll do like four pieces. Okay. Okay, so like one piece at a time. Yeah. And so four different kind of fish, or we could do three fish, and then we can do one steak sushi too. At the end. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be nice. Take a little like waggy or something. Yeah. Get some um, truffle salt. Oh. A little truffle oil. Two of those are no no uh, seafood, basically, right? Yeah. Yes. Seventeen regular menus. Yeah. And then two specials. Maybe. I used to do like mushroom sushi. Yes. Mm -hmm. The farmers so market cool. had mushrooms. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really? she, yeah. She said she had lion's mane. She she says the mush mushrooms sell out usually by ten. Yeah, so that can be cool to you. <laughs> Yeah, we caught uh, one like this big, yes. How is it? Go for it, Saucy. Okay. Yeah, they're huge. Mm -hmm. The rice is good. Mm. It's just imitation crab and a bunch of spicy mayo. Can't go wrong with that. We just finished our meeting and we came over to Ryan's friend's house and he has an amazing garden, so we're picking up some ingredients to cook. Usually we would just go to a grocery store, but this is too cool to pass up. <laughs> some star fruit. The red ones, you know how to pick them, right? You just kind of angle them off a different way, mm -hmm. okay. and then they come right off. These beds were fed with the trips that you and Ben did. So uh, these beds were fed with wahoo, oh, yeah, uh -huh. skeleton, you know, all the skeletons, right? Yeah, I think that's good. I feel like this is enough. It's well, a lot it, of it peel. Down. Nice kaffir lime leaves. Put like any Ooh, thighs, yeah, it smells, it smells great. It's so convenient to have a tree like that. It's so convenient to have citrus available. Yeah. Like all oh this yeah. Stuff. I mean, I eat mostly like what I grow. Nice. And we are also going to the school he works at, where he teaches students how to grow vegetables in their own garden. I'm John. I'm the middle school garden. Uh, program teacher here at Innovations Public Charter School in Kona, Hawaii. And this is just an incredible place to work. We have eight acres that's planted out with all sorts of flowers and fruits and now vegetables. And the administration is super supportive. The principal is super supportive. We're building, one of my classes is how to, how to grow food in your backyard in Hawaii. So we build out um, raised beds with the kids. Now we're doing a dragon fruit orchard. And uh, it's just awesome. It's all year long. I really want to take this class, even though it's for kids. <laughs> I would have loved to go to school in a place like this. Project-based learning, right? So like yeah. on Fridays, there's groups of kids that go surfing. There's groups of kids that like, we're going to have a farmer's market. My group, this from, from the next like six weeks, I have a group of kids. We're going to do farmer's markets on Friday. Yeah. A lot of the kids are like, let's do spear fishing. Sign them up, bro, I'll do it. Basil. Not at all. Not at all. We're in Hawaii. Wow. It's like, how many places in the United States can you teach a gardening class and grow all year round? Yeah. Dream garden? Yeah, it's just Jocelyn dream garden right here. <laughs> it's too bad. So yeah, many fruits, so many vegetables. Oh, yeah. The tropical fruits get me excited. This is just within one semester. Look, we're making yeah. this beautiful compost that's already ready. Nice. And that's just from all the waste from the schools, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, 
This was built by students. And the thing is that they had to design them. They yeah. had to cost them. Oh, yeah. And then they had to uh, make a proposal to the principal. So mm -hmm. now we have the plans for all these, so we just give them out to all the parents. I never got to eat my beets because we moved out. They're so close. That'll be good. The, the kids are. Is this the breadfruit? Yep, breadfruit. Oh, I always wanted to try that. You can do a lot of things with it. You can pickle it when it's green like this. Uh -huh. It's kind of a potato, yeah. and like you can just take it off, cut out the stem, put an X in the bottom, put it on a baking sheet at 400 degrees for 45 minutes, mm -hmm. and then it's your. Then you can do whatever you want with it. You can either eat it with like an olive oil and salt, or mm -hmm. you could fry it. Starchy like like a potato. Just yeah. Kinda... Just like it. It works good in an air fryer. Mm-hmm. It's um, a nice avocado. Yeah. yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I take some mint. Oh, cool. You can make some sponges with these. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> and this is the second box, right? Yes! <laughs> second box. Where's the wheelbarrow? Oh, man. All of our days look pretty different. You know, obviously, we're not going to these awesome farms every single day, but it is pretty usual for us to still have days where we're working on the computer, doing the grocery shopping, which I think we're actually going to go to a grocery store next because we need some other ingredients for Taku's catch and cook video. But we do usually have some kind of meetings. Usually they're virtual, so this was kind of nice to have like an in-person meeting. Yeah, so we'll head over to the grocery store next and then we'll start doing the filming for Outdoor Chef Life. All right, just went on a little beer run. Got some vodka meals, Topo Chico. Kitty approves and a few beers. We have a couple of people joining us um, for dinner, so that's why we got so many beers. We're about ready to start filming for Outdoor Chef Life. All right, we got Taco over here doing some fish prep for the video. Tonight we're just gonna use some of the red fish and the little tuna. Uh, the mahi will save for later, because we're doing sushi night. So the way we film is usually with the A6400 right here. That's usually for filming. <laughs> that's usually for filming the cooking portion. Um, we don't like to use it on the kayak too much because it'll get wet um, or boats. Usually on boats we use the GoPro and sometimes we use this handheld one that I'm using now. So this is how it happens. Basically we have two cameras. We have the A6400 here and then we have a smaller one getting a separate angle. And then I'll just make sure that they're all in focus and I'll go back and forth between them. Usually this one is really good about autofocusing. The A6400 sometimes needs a little help. Typically the cleaning and the prepping of the fish to making of the dish and filming can take anywhere from one to three hours. This probably took closer to two to three hours since we were making enough to feed a small dinner party. And depending on where we cooked, for example, if it was our outdoor setup, we still have to pack everything up and clean it when we get to our home base. This time we did indoor cooking, so it was more like 30 minutes for cleanup. And by the time we finish filming a full video, it's probably about eight or 9 p.m. And this isn't including that we actually filmed the fishing the day before. It is the next day and this morning I actually went to work out. Taku spent most of the morning working and I am now editing. And it'll probably be an editing day for me for the whole day. So that's going to be it for this video and we will see you guys next week. And for those of you that are curious about how the pop-up went, we've decided to add a little bit to this video since it won't be a video of its own. We're with our friends Courtney and Derek, and Derek caught this beautiful ahi just a few days ago, and uh, we're going to flay it up right now. And they've been doing some catch and cook pop-ups, which is very cool, and so I'm, they asked me to be a part of it, so I'm here. We're going to fillet it up, we're going to make some sushi, we're going to make some carpaccio, and have a wonderful feast with this beautiful ahi. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the head off here. It's got a nice big head. This is probably the hardest part, trying to get this big old head off. So the tunas always have really tough scales right on the back, all the way across the back. So we just kind of scaled up, scaled out with my knife. first time right <laughs> it's my very first time i just learned i just watched a youtube video this morning so i think i can do it <laughs>
First, we're gonna take the top loin off. We do it into five pieces, which is called gomai oroshi. In Japanese, that just means five pieces. So we have one, two, and then three, four. And the fifth piece is actually the skeleton. Just cutting the skin first. Actually, we also have to take the collar off as well. And really thick scales right here too. So we go. Now we'll do the bottom side. Yeah. She wanted me to actually take a slab and dice it up, but yeah, this is perfect. I, I left plenty. <laughs>